HRC, 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 Hebrew reader, Hebrew reader, Hebrew reader, church. Shalom, 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 shalom. Greetings, everyone. Hope all is well with the brethren and the sisters that are in Ahaya, Ashre Ahaya, and believe in the name, in the only name of salvation, Yache, Meshiaka. The brethren, tribulation, the patience and faith in Yache, Meshiaka, Kosafo. And I'm your brother in truth and spirit, in light, Zakaria. I'm glad to see everyone today. The website is finally up. Yes. The information is on there. The Hebrew calendar, up to date, full of Ahaya's testimony. We're very excited about it. It's according to the book of Enoch, which is actually our language, Kanoka. And the book of Jubilees, which is also our language, Yobalo. <laughs> so we're very excited about it. The true Hebrew calendar, 364-day calendar, according to the Most High's truth and righteousness. Yeah. Perfect, even number. encourage you all to visit the website, download the documents. We also have the books on there. Just very excited. We have some information on the history of the Yiddish, showing how the Yiddish was implemented to corrupt the language and hide from the world what true Hebrew is, along with a short little history on the migration of how we ended up in West Africa and whatnot. There's a lot of information on the doctrinal information, what we believe, what we preach. So it's a good means of getting familiarized with us if this is your first time uh, fellowshipping with us here this day. And, uh, anything else in that, guys? Um, praise the higher. I'm just glad that he's continually he's keeping the work going and then blessing the work. The website came out very, very well. A lot of information, a lot of downloads, a lot of books. Uh, the, the language, the breakdown of, of over a hundred words and, and even sentences in the Bible and just, just full of information. The, the Hebrew alphabet, the true Hebrew alphabet, the information about how the Yiddish came to be, and the, and through the language you can you know who the people are. Yes. So it's amazing. I have, he he's really been gracious, and he said in Yoda is Allah I am known. So we went to Yoda, <laughs> <laughs> and the earth helped us. So, That's right, as I said in Revelation <laughs> chapter 12, the earth helped us, man. So we pray the Hayat yes. for all that he's done and all that he's doing. And he'll be magnified. Indeed, in Yoda, it's all I have known. Sitting right there in the Igbo language, man. What you say? It's amazing. So today we will be discussing the understanding of one doctrine and one spirit. With that, we'll go into the scriptures. Because through the precepts we get understanding and look at what was being taught. Paul exhorts the Galatians not to turn away from the true doctrine because he received it by the Spirit. If we go to Galatians chapter 1, verse 2 to 12. Galatians chapter 1, verse 2. And all the brethren which were with me unto the churches of Galatia, Grace be to you and peace from Elohim the Father and from our Adonia Yache and Mashiach, who gave himself for our sins that he might deliver us from this present evil world. And there we see he gave himself. The doctrine was a sacrifice that he made, doing away with the animal sacrifice because the animal sacrifice was a similitude of him, of what he was to come to do. And when he came and did it, he destroyed the works of sin in his flesh by putting on sinful flesh, as Romans chapter 8, verse 3 had spoken about. When we look at Acts chapter 
13, verse 38 to 43, we will see this is what was being preached at that time. Acts chapter 13, verse 38. Be it known unto you, therefore, men and brethren, through this man is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins. And by him all that believe are justified from all things, from which you could not be justified by the law of Moshe. Right, because it put in purge the conscience, as uh, Hebrews 9 and 9 had said. And as he said, we couldn't be justified by the law of Moses. This is how you can know that he was talking about animal sacrifice. Continue. Beware, therefore, least that come upon you which is spoken of in the prophets. Behold, ye despisers and wonders, and perish, for I work a work in your days, a work which ye shall in no wise believe, though a man declare it unto you. And when the Jews were gone out of the synagogue, the Gentiles besought that these words might be preached to them the next Shabbat. So we see there we have confirmation the Gentiles were there hearing the gospel as well. Continue. Now when the congregation was broken up, many of the Jews and religious proselytes followed Paul. So there we see Jew and Gentile believe in the gospel. Continue. And Barnabas who speaking to them persuaded them to continue in the grace of Allah and now we also understand what the grace is the grace was known that she has died for our sins and that we can now walk forward with clear conscience work in our righteousness that's what the grace is and also to get it right to become perfect as he commanded us be ye perfect as your father in heaven is perfect in Matthew 5 and 48 and when we attain unto that perfection by the effectual work of the Mishiach Ayache in us and when he comes on his second coming in his glory, we will see him and he will see himself in us and we will be saved from the destruction to come. Uh, so that's the gospel that Paul was preaching. Going back to Galatians, where we at verse 4. Let's continue reading down to verse 12 and we'll read through it. Okay. Galatians chapter 1, verse 4. Who gave himself for our sins that he might deliver us from this present evil world according to the will of Allah and our Father, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Messiah unto another gospel, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Messiah. And when he said, some trouble you, what was the trouble that the people are troubling them with? Because they had received the Holy Spirit by faith. They had believed the gospel. They had believed in Yacha, Cornelius being the example. They had believed that in Yacha they can be redeemed from sins. In uh, Acts chapter 10 and 11. And when Paul here talks about them that trouble you, um, in Acts chapter 15, it says, uh, chapter 15, verse 1, And certain men which came down from Judea taught the brethren and said, Except ye be circumcised after the manner of Moses, ye cannot be saved. Now this is where Paul is talking about they're troubling you. Because you receive the Holy Spirit by faith, by hearing the word and by believing it. And the Holy Spirit came upon them, the Gentiles and the Jews that were not circumcised. That grew up as Hellenists and didn't partake in the customs of circumcision and animal sacrifice and Nazarite vows and things of that nature. And here, this is the trouble that they brought, saying, unless you're circumcised, you can't be saved. But that was not what the gospel said. Yahweh said, he that believeth on me shall have everlasting life. So the justification was always by faith. Therefore, when they brought this, this was false doctrine. And it goes on to say, when therefore Paul and Barnabas had no small dissension and disputation with them, they determined that Paul and Barnabas and certain other of them should go up to Jerusalem unto the apostles and elders about this question. And being brought up on their way by the church, they passed through Phoenice and Samaria, declaring the conversion of the Gentiles. They received Gentiles coming in, and they caused great joy unto all the brethren, because the true Israelites in spirit and in truth would love to hear that people are choosing Allah. That's right. He goes on to say, And when they were come to Jerusalem, they were received of the church and of the apostles and elders, and they declared all things that Allah had done with them. 
But there rose up certain of the sect of the Pharisees which believed. So these Pharisees, they had believed in Yahche, but they were still real zealous about the animal sacrifice and circumcision and whatnot, saying that it was needful to circumcise them and to command them to keep the law of Moses. But as the disciples, they sat there and they discussed the matter, the response was real clear, as Peter will go on to say. And the apostles and elders came together to consider this matter. And when there had been much disputing, Peter rose up and said unto them, Men and brethren, we know how that a good while ago Allahiah made choice among us that the Gentiles by my mouth should hear the word of the gospel and believe. So we see this is what transpired. The Gentiles heard it, and by the hearing of faith, they believed, and they received the Spirit. And he goes on to say, verse 8, And Allahim, which knoweth the hearts, bear them witness, giving them the Holy Spirit, even as he did unto us, and putting no difference between us and them. So there we see, that's why the Holy Spirit said in uh, Acts chapter 10 and 11, What Allah hath cleansed, call not thou common. Because mm -hmm. those Gentiles, that the, the unclean animals that were received up into heaven, that's was showing that the Gentiles are also going to receive salvation. It goes on to say, And putting no difference between us and them, purifying their hearts by faith. This is how the Gentiles receive the circumcision of the heart. And they are grafted in. And also the Israelites who found out the truth while they were Hellenized and uncircumcised, they didn't have to go get circumcised to be saved because now they're walking in the circumcision of the heart of Mashiach, as, as Colossians 2 and 11 talks about. Going on to say, Now therefore, why tempt ye, Allahim, to put a yoke upon the neck of the disciples, which neither our fathers nor we were able to bear? Because we were circumcised, but we were uncircumcised of heart. As uh, it was Jeremiah 9 and 26, where he talked about how we, the Israelites, we were uncircumcised of heart. Mm -hmm. So this was our problem. We became like the nations because of our behavior. Right. And therefore now, today, for those Israelites that are not circumcised, because they had not grown up knowing the law and whatnot, they have the opportunity to also come back into their own tree come back into their own branch in Yachin by the circumcision of the heart and as well as the Gentiles who are the Wa olive branch they have the opportunity to partake in the root of Yachin by being circumcised of the heart hence salvation is for all in Mishiach Yachin as Ahaya had promised by oath to Abraham that in thy seed shall all nations be blessed because there's one spirit that's going to be on the Israelites and on the Gentiles. As Peter said, they receive the Holy Spirit even as we. That's right. Okay? Uh, continuing in Galatians, what verse are we in? Oh, we're at 8. All right, let's continue. Uh, Galatians chapter 1, verse 8. But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. And indeed so. Because we've just touched what the gospel actually is. There are religions where they claim angels spoke to them and right. they have some message. These religions, according to the scripture, these religions are not true. That's right. So any doctrine contrary to these are, as Paul said, this, this, it's a curse, unfortunately. It's, the, uh, it's Satan trying to deceive the world still. Continue. Um, verse 10. For do I now persuade men or Elohim? Mm -hmm. Or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Messiah. Paul is showing with the doctrine, with the gospel, we can't do things according to the pleasures of men. Right. This is what's going to lead to iniquity. It's going to lead to bearing off from the truth. It has to be according to the pleasure of Elohim. Mm -hmm. To do that which is righteous and good in his sight that we do not bear off from the path. Continue. Verse 11. But I certify you, brother, that the gospel which was preached to me is not after man. For I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it, 
by the revelation of Yahshua HaMashiach. So there we see this gospel that Paul was preaching was from the Spirit. It's from Allah And it's the same gospel that Peter was preaching because the Spirit of Mashiach was working effectually in Paul and Peter. We touch on Acts chapter 26, verse uh, 13 to 18. So we touch on this gospel that Paul received from the Spirit. Acts chapter 26, verse 13. At midday, O king, I saw in the way a light from heaven above the brightness of the sun shining round about me, and they which journeyed with me. And when we were all fallen to the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me and saying in the Hebrew tongue, Shoalo, Shoalo, why persecutest thou me? Is it hard for thee to kick against the pricks? And I said, Who art thou, Adonai? And he said, I am Yache, whom thou persecutest. But rise and stand upon thy feet, for I have appeared unto thee for this purpose, to make thee the minister and a witness. Both of these things which thou hast seen, and of those things in which I will appear unto thee, delivering thee from the people and from, from the, the Gentiles, and from the Gentiles, unto whom now I send thee, as he sent to both. Though he's a minister of the uncircumcision, he's still sent to both, because all things are to Jew first and Gentile. Mm -hmm. Continue to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light. light. Darkness is iniquity. Mashiach is light. Proverbs 6 and 23, the law is light. So this is the light that we're being turned on to. Continue. And from the power of Hasatano unto Elohim. And the power of Satano is lust. Right. But that's the root of his wickedness. It's in the uh, Apocalypse of Moses, chapter 19, verse 3. With that also is on the website. You can download that book as well. So you can see, so that's what we're talking about the power of Satan, pulling us out from the bondage of lust. Right. To walk in sincerity and serve the living Allah. Continue. That they may receive forgiveness of sins. Mm. That's very interesting. Yes, it is. That you have to come out from lust to receive forgiveness of sins. Right. He said to pull them out of the power of Satan that they may receive forgiveness of sins. That's right. We have to come out from our lust. We can't continue in what we desire. So, scriptures are telling us this is the gospel. We've got to put away lust and put on those fruits. Put on the power of those virgins. Put on the power of Mishiach and Yachin. Do the will of our Father who art in heaven. And his commandments are everlasting life. It's interesting also because just like you quoted the Thessalonians, the first Thessalonians, mm -hmm. about how oh, they were saying the Gentiles couldn't be saved. Mm -hmm. It's interesting because what it says right here, it says, to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light, and from the power of Hafatano unto Elohim, that they may receive forgiveness of sins. Mm -hmm. Then it says, an inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. Oh, wow. What's the inheritance they're receiving? The inheritance of the promise of eternal life given to Abaroham. Because he said, In blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thee. Oh, wow, that's all in Genesis 22, verse 17 and 18. And in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Right. They're receiving their inheritance. The inheritance is to live, to live in the kingdom as well. The doctrine that the Gentiles can't be saved is just so it's a tough. It's against Yache. Right. Because Yache is the spirit of prophecy, as Revelation 19 and 10 says. If the Gentiles can't be saved, then Yache's prophecy will not be fulfilled. And this is Yache speaking. He said, An inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith. He's talking about his chosen, his people, who are the Gentiles, that he's chosen. Mm -hmm. Right? That is in me. He said, They're in me. They're mm -hmm. in Yache. Mm -hmm. So you, you're going against Yache. It's, it's a tough one. It is. This is the gospel. They have an inheritance too. Right. Abraham was promised that his seed would be multiplied as the stars of heaven and as the sand of the seashore. That's right. But praise Ahaya. Praise Ahaya for the opportunity. Our uh, brothers and sisters of the Gentiles, we thank Ahaya for what he's doing. He's been very merciful on you and he's been merciful on us. I pray unto Ahaya for those that trouble the Gentiles, saying that you cannot be saved when the scriptures and the prophecy and 
and the truth says that you can be. I pray that they return and they repent and that they actually teach you correctly yeah. and not out of hatred, which is one of the works of the flesh, yeah. and out of strife, but out of love and sincerity and innocency and meekness yeah. to restore you. So you have an inheritance as well. Yeah. Very much so. I agree. I agree. Very much. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 1 to 3, shows the doctrine. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 1. Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Messiah, let us go on unto perfection. Mm hmm. So he's getting ready to tell us what the principles are of the doctrine. Right. Then he's saying, let's leave these. Not to say let's stop doing them, but let's move forward. Let's evolve. Showing that there's more. Right. There's more. Well, yes, we have to keep the law. Yes, we have to believe. We also have to bear these fruits. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. All the stumbling stuff. Right. Because the perfection is the bond of perfectness, which right. is charity. Also, this is why he says... Um, of course, if you're keeping the law, he said, uh, let it go into perfection, being the fruits of the Spirit. Because in Galatians 5 and 23, it says, after it talks about the fruits of the Spirit, it says, in which is, there is no law. Mm -hmm. Because you're in perfection, because you're keeping the law already and you're being the fruits of the Spirit. Right. You become perfect. That's right. Uh, let's see. Not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works. So that's the foundation, repent. Put away the lust, put away the powers of Satan, the darkness, and come into the light. Repent of all thy evil deeds and to do right. And actually, if you don't mind reading the, the definition of repentance, please. Yeah, exactly. It's G3341. A change of mind as it appears to one who repents of a purpose he has formed or of something he has done. So, knowing that we are in iniquity. No, we got to come out of it. And continue with the strongs. Okay. Uh, compunction for guilt, including reformation. We know we need to be reformed, and we're actually doing it. That's what repentance is, reformation. That's right. That's Romans 12, 1 and 2. That's your acceptable service, right. the renewing of your mind. Right. Mm. Continue. By implication, reversal. Reversal. No longer serving mammon. That's right. No longer serving Satan. So the reverse of you're going back to your maker. Coming back to he who formed you. Serving the living Allah and doing that which is right and good in his sight. It's amazing. Let's continue. We're in Hebrews 6 and 1 still? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm going to start back a little bit. Okay. Not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works. And of faith toward Allah, of the doctrine of baptisms. We have to be submerged in water. Yes. We have to partake in that. We have to go into the literal, physical, living water and be submerged into it in the name of Ahaya, Ashre Ahaya, Yache, Meshiaka, and Ruaka Hekwadoshi. Because we have to die in baptism with him that we may live unto Allah. As Romans chapter 6, that whole chapter talks about the death that we partake in the Meshiaka. And because being born by water and spirit, the spirit is the spirit of burning, teaching us the law, and teaching us the fruits of the spirit, that we may be as Mishiach is, and burning off all the works, the dead works. And as gold is tried in a fire, so acceptable men try in the mercy. This is my brother. <laughs> <laughs> Good to you. And I'm laying on of hands. Right? We're laying on of hands to receive the Ruaka Kwadoshi. Continue. Uh, let's see. And of resurrection of the dead. The resurrection of the dead is a part of the doctrine because for the Israelite, on our part, we're looking forward to that for the consolation of Israel, that we may receive the government in subjection unto our king, Yache. And also for the Gentiles, they are hoping for the resurrection because by believing in Yache, they will get to partake. And they all, we all will be keeping the Feast of Tabernacles coming to Jerusalem right. as it talks about in Zechariah. So the scriptures everywhere is continual. It's always talking about Israelites and Gentiles being saved. 
by Yahshua. Okay. And of eternal judgment. And the eternal judgment is coming because all men must stand before the judgment seat of Mashiach and Yahshua and give answer for all his deeds on the earth, whether he had done good or bad. Mm. As Paul testified in the uh, book of 2 Corinthians 5 and 9, it says, Wherefore we labor, that whether present or absent, we may be accepted of him. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Mishiaka, that every one may receive the things done in his body, according that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. So, this is... The foundation. What did he say in verse 3 of Hebrews, back in Hebrews 6 and 3? And this will we do, if Allah Hayyam permit. So these are all the things we will do. Allah Hayyam be with us and enable us. So, we see what Paul received was according to the Spirit. And in building on that, we look at what were some of the spiritual things he received. And we go to Baruch chapter 4 verse 1. Because this also helps us understand by him receiving things not from men but by the Spirit. It shows that the law was what also he was teaching because the law is spiritual and it's eternal. In uh, Baruch chapter 4, verse 1. This is the book of commandments of Abraham and the law that endured forever. The law is never going away. That's right. Okay. All they that keep it shall come to life. So that shows that that everlasting life that's in that promise, you have to keep the law as well. Because all those that keep it shall come to life, whether Jew or Gentile. Continue. But such as leave it shall die. The testimony is sure. You see what happened to the Israelites in the wilderness. Um, continuing with uh, the spiritual law, seeing that the law is eternal, we can confirm it in Romans chapter 7 verse 14. Romans chapter 7, verse 14. Mm -hmm. For we know that the law is spiritual, mm -hmm. but I am carnal, sold under sin. Therefore, that's why we are not supposed to be operating in ourselves. But the law is spiritual. If we operate according to the spirit of wisdom, we will abide in the law and the testimony of Yahshua and bear the fruits of the spirit. Because those are all the works of the spirit. And Paul spake according to the spirit of wisdom. As he said in First Corinthians chapter two, verse six to fourteen. First Corinthians chapter two, verse six. Howbeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world. Okay, let me say we speak wisdom among them that are perfect. That's right. Because those that believe, those that are working the works of faith, bearing the fruits of the spirit. Keeping the commandments, because those are the ones who would understand, because even Peter had warned that Paul's writings are hard to be understood to the unlearned and unstable. That's right. As they error in other scriptures also. Right. And they rest judgment. They put behind them the laws of Allah. And Peter testified to that in uh, 2 Peter uh, 3 and uh, 16. Continue, speaking to them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, mm -hmm. nor of the princes of this world that come to naught. Because the works of the flesh are going to cause us to perish. Right. So those that are perfect, those that have that bond of perfectness, continue. But we speak the wisdom of Allah in a mystery. Mm. Even the hidden wisdom which Allah ordained before the world unto our glory. This was the gospel that was ordained. Yachin was ordained before the world had began. This is the mystery. Mishyaka in you. The hope of glory. That's right. That was our first uh, Colossian, I mean, not first Colossians, Colossians chapter 1 verse 27. That's the mystery <laughs> that had been hidden. Continue. Which none of the princes of this world knew. For had they known it, they would have not crucified the donkey of glory. <laughs> and that shows how Ahaya is Allah. He controls all. Even when one is doing wickedness, it's going to be used for his glory. That's right. Because what the devil thought he was doing to try and save himself, it was actually bringing the prophecies to pass. That's right. And this is what helps give us confidence to just work righteousness. That's right. Just do what Ahaya has to do. Bear the fruits of the Spirit because knowing that everything that's happening, the trial of your faith, is for you to be perfected. That's right. Just endure, knowing that this is all according to Ahaya's will, that I may go.
And it's interesting because the tribulation comes from the enemy too when you're trying to be perfect, trying to keep the commandment and better fruit of the spirit. The enemy comes at you and he tries to destroy you. Not understanding that through much tribulation, you're, you're becoming perfect. Mm -hmm. You're gaining patience and, and, you're, and, you're, and you're growing in all the fruits of the Spirit. He's very, very ignorant. Right. He thinks he's going to destroy you, but in actuality, he's only strengthening you. Right. I don't think that done to our hands, pleasure. Mm -hmm. In the Psalms, it says, the wrath of man shall praise thee. That's right. What evil is being done, is in the end, is going to be to Ahia's glory. You can, you know, this is true because the evil they did by killing Yate was actually for the glorification of Allah. Hayo. That's right. So here we are, being killed now, being persecuted, being afflicted now. But as our brother, I have put this in his heart to say, as Romans chapter five verse one said, for the tribulation worketh patience. That's right. And patience. Experience yes. <laughs> and experience hope <laughs> and hope make it not a shame for the love of Allah I am is set abroad in your hearts. That's right. The Holy Spirit that is given unto us. This is the gospel, brothers and sisters of Israel and of the Gentiles. That's right. Our hope is in Him. Satan will do what He will do. Let Him do it. That's right. Allah will deliver us. <laughs> 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 I am be magnified. <laughs> it's amazing because even with all the attack to the enemy, we're supposed to be unmovable. That's when we went into we resist steadfast. That's right. When you believe and when you're in the faith, you're unmovable. And that's how we're supposed to be when it comes to the enemy's attacks. When he's coming at us with all the wicked imaginations in our minds. You know, the angel of iniquity trying to tell us to do something that's against the commandments or against the fruits of the Spirit. Or he's trying to make us think something that we can't be perfect. And all these different things that he, he does that are against what our donor actually told us to do. We're supposed to be unmovable. We're supposed to get to the point where we, we are not moved by his subtlety. We're not moved by his, his reproaches. We're not moved by his deceptions. And... We stay constantly striving and enduring, walking forward unto perfection. Just like Paul talked about. Yes, sir, that's exactly right. What verse were you at right there? We're in verse 9. Okay. But as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man. The things which Allah has prepared for them that love him. Mm. But Allah has revealed them unto us <laughs> by his spirit. For the spirit search of all things, yea, the deep things of Allah. Mm. For what man knoweth the things of a man save the spirit of man, which is in him. So just as the spirit can search out everything that's in a man. Even so, the Spirit searches out and understands all the things of Allah because the Spirit is the wisdom of Allah Hayyam. Continue. Even so, the things of Allah Hayyam know of no man but the Spirit of Allah Hayyam. And therefore he said, but the Spirit had revealed the mysteries unto us. Now we have received not the Spirit of the world. Because the Spirit of the world is the Spirit of disobedience, as Ephesians chapter 2 tells us about. The spirit of the air, spirit of error. All right, continue. But the spirit which is of Allah, mm. that we might know the things that are freely given to us of Allah. And it's interesting because the spirit of Allah is going to lead us to keep them out. That's why by the spirit of Allah, we know the things of Allah. We see that in uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6, verse 18, Sirach, chapter 24, verse 1 to about just the whole chapter is wisdom exalting herself and telling of how she operates. And she all she beseeches us to come eat of her fruits. Yeah. And she tells us that doing her will is the law. Let's continue back in Corinthians. Uh, Corinthians 2 and 13. Yes. Which things also we speak not in the words which man's wisdom teaches. Comparing the spiritual things with spiritual. Now it's amazing which the Holy Spirit teaches. This is why we go according to the law and the testimony of the Hebrew records. Because these are the things that the Spirit has gathered and His mouth has commanded. As Isaiah chapter 34 verse 16 says, 
So we know we can get understanding of spiritual things in the law and the testimony and the Hebrew records. And we compare spiritual things with spiritual. That means we're discerning. Because the spiritual things, with spiritual, that's talking about the law. Because the law is spiritual. That's right. That's where we're getting to the point where we're assessing everything according to the law and the testimony. That's right. Learning what's right. Learning what we should be doing. Learning the fruits of the Spirit. Because this is how we are babes. As Hebrews chapter 5, verse 13 and 14 said, we're babes that uh, have need of milk. That need to be taught again. And we desire that sincere milk of the word we're looking. Learning the words of righteousness. Discerning what is good and evil. And then when we become mature, when we become mature at work in righteousness, putting on those fruits, our mind has been exercised in knowing what's good and evil. And therefore, we become true servants of Mishiaka. Eat and meat. And then we're ready for meat. Then we can learn prophecy. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, brothers and sisters, this is the direction we're going. Because Yacha is the shepherd that raises the flock. And teaches the flock. Therefore, he's put it in our hearts to teach, raise, teach us what we need to live, teach us what we need to attain unto eternal life. And then we go into the prophecy and breaking down, understanding everything that's going on. Because we're knowing all prophecy, coming to all knowledge of all that stuff. It will profit us nothing if we don't come into the knowledge of the truth. That's what Paul was admonishing Timothy about in uh Second Timothy 3 and 7. Ever learning but never coming to the knowledge of the truth. That's right. This is why we focus on the, the essential, the milk. The sincere milk that we need that we may uh, attain unto Mishiach and Yachi thereby. Uh, let's continue. But the natural man receiveth not the thing for the spirit of Abraham. Mm. For they are foolishness unto him. And this is why, brothers and sisters, we cannot abide in lust. That's right. Because if we are in carnality, it will put us at enmity with Allah Hayyam. That's and right. It will cause us not to hear. It will cause us not to receive the engrafted word. Um, continue. For they are foolishness unto him. Mm. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. And there we see that they are foolishness unto him, because the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee when thoughts of unrighteousness come in. That's why he said they're spiritually discerned. And if one doesn't understand, it's because one is in some form of iniquity. Therefore, the spirit, it doesn't dwell with iniquity, so it won't cause one to understand. Mm -hmm. So we have to be admonished on that and be encouraged to put away the works of wickedness. And touching on Romans 8, 5 through 11. We'll do that and then we'll... Um, Romans chapter 8, verse 5. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. Where our desire is is where we're going to cleave onto. For to be carnally minded is death. Mm. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against Allah I am. For it is not subject to the law of Allah I am, neither indeed can be. Now, interesting, the spirit is subject to the law of Allah Hayyam, because right. she came from Allah Hayyam. Right. So we see the two different sides. By the spirit assurance of incorruption, by giving heed unto the law and the desire of discipline and obeying, or cleaving unto the works of the flesh, the wickedness of the devil, which is lust. The two sides are set. That's why he told Moshe to tell us, choose you this day, life or death. That's right. Uh, continue. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please Allah. I am. That's right. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of Allah I am dwell in you. And you can know that the spirit is in you if you're bearing the fruits of it. That's right. Continue. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Messiah, he is none of his. Israelite or Gentile. If we have not his spirit in us, Keeping those commandments as he kept them, believing in his blood, as the Father has sent him to do what he had ordained for him to do, and bearing the fruit that will be none of his. Continue. And if Meshiach be in you, the body is dead because of sin. But the spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the spirit of him that raised up Yahweh from the dead dwell in you, 
He that raised up Messiah from the dead shall also quicken your mortal body mm -hmm. by his spirit that the world of you. So that's why we also confirm for resurrection. We have to have Messiah in us because right. that's the spirit that's going to resurrect us from the dead. Right. And there, we're going to come to a pausing point. And we're going to do another video. We hope this has been very edifying for you, brothers and sisters. And may Ahaya be with us. We really encourage you to take the time to look at these scriptures, view these teachings, and, and really let it soak into your heart. Receive this engrafted word by which may save your souls. And may Ahaya be with us all to deliver us from the body of this death, and the works of Satan and the lust of the flesh. Anything else tentatively? No, no, no. I'll be magnified. We'll see you all shortly. All right. Shalom. 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 HRC, 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 HRC,